He's out hunting, enjoying the beautiful sunrise. With air guns. With air guns. Ignore the dollar sportsman. I'll let you know if we get anything. This is gonna be fun. Nor over there trying to flush anything that's in the brush over here. Saw some earlier. Oh, there it is. There's a jackrabbit all the way out there. Yeah, that's what we saw. Flushed a jackrabbit, but that thing was screaming fast, so nothing yet. Nothing yet. It's been a while since we've been hunting, so we're, we're hoping that we get something here today instead of making this into a nature hike. But that wouldn't be so bad, would it? Not at all. Not at all. But even if we get skunked, it's still a good day. Definitely beats going to work. <laughs> This is kind of cool. No idea if it's dead or alive. It's a dragonfly. Just hanging out on a branch. Well, if anything, found something. <laughs> Pretty cool. This guy keeps getting higher and higher on my shirt. I fear for my life. So right now we're over here by a watering hole that we've we've hunted before. So it's just on the other side of that. Right now we're just kind of going around trying to see if there's anything around it before we actually go inside and hopefully not spook anything. Keep you updated. Yeah, it looks like someone didn't share our same taste of trying to keep our hunting grounds clean. Just a ton of trash. Looks like somebody dumped while they're ATVing and whatnot. Looks like Pete's found my back. You got my back, bro? Cool. There was something here pretty recent. Valley Coyote. Looks like I wandered off that way. Steps. Definitely seen lots of sign of rabbit. Lots of tufts of hair. Lots of dew on them. They were all over the place here. There's a big old brawl that was right over there. What is that? You see this hummingbird? You see that one right up there. But what is that noise? Oh, is that that little hummingbird? Is that you, little fella? I think it is. 
I don't see anything else in this tree. That's gotta be your little guy. Yeah, that was just I'm running out there. Oh, he disappeared. Here you are. Didn't see anything in that watering hole, so we're venturing to other places to see if we can find anything else. So right now I'm kind of going through this wash trying to see if I can flush anything out. Got Nora over there. Look out. Well, lots of things been traveling in here. These look pretty darn recent. So I think you did see a coyote over there. Heading down that wash. Did it head that, way. that way. Yeah. Think we should go after it? I think we should keep looking over here and see what we can find. And then head back and see if we can find it that way. Cool. Sounds good. We have possibly found a little fox den here. It looks like there may have been a rabbit hole here too. Something's still in there, but something. I'm guessing that fox may have been trying to get in there. Because there's another spot over here that belonged to something that wasn't a fox or coyote. Probably maybe a rabbit or ground squirrel because it was it was trying to go for something in there. Kinda see the hole down in there. <laughs> cool stuff. Find some more track leading up to the water. That's a good spot. Let's see what else we can find. All these droppings here. Big old ugly piles like this. There's a pack rat living inside of that sucker. Just gathers trash, sticks, anything and everything. Just turns it into a giant heap. They're like the beavers above ground, but in the desert. And I believe that is our great horned owl nest, because that's where I saw it take off from. You see anything up there? No? Mm, too bad. Beautiful. Yeah, I love all of the different things that we see out here. If only we could see what we're hunting for, but goes that way sometimes but you see all sorts of cool stuff fox den great horned owl nests fights rabbit fights and coyote fights like you can see the evidence all around it's pretty neat we got another pack rat living right here just yep there's the little burrow right in there See if we can find any owl droppings over here. I don't see anything yet. Nope, that's just a mushroom. 
Could be a new nest. So cool. <clears throat> Dude, I've never seen barrel cactus out in the wild before. I've always seen it on people's properties. Just completely random. So we found this barrel cactus and these fruits look so fresh. That's pretty epic. Looks like mini you want pineapple. To, uh, you want to try it? Sure. I'll take a mini pineapple. <laughs> All right, let's see. Yep, that's fresh. Hold on, that one's got a bug in it. <laughs> wow, look at that. Let's cut it open. Cool. It has all the seeds inside. Look at that. Fresh, super fresh. Wow, even has all the sugar crystals in it. Dude, yep, yeah, get all the seeds out. There's so many of them. <laughs> They're sticky because it's so fresh. Everywhere. Can't hold the camera at the same time. Oh. There you go. You almost got it. Almost, yeah. It's about... <laughs> Alright. We All got right. some nice little wipe down. Cut yourself a chunk there. You can shave the outside if you'd prefer. Because the outside it's is a little bit scary. It almost reminds me of aloe vera. How sticky it is and how clear it is on the inside. Yeah. Just cut yourself a chunk for starters. Oh heck. How is it? Kind of tangy. Yeah? Not bad, huh? I think I found seed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gross. <laughs> it was very crunchy, whatever it was. Not bad. Oh my gosh. That is so good. It's a little slimy, but it's very lemony. Dude, that's so good. Mmm. That's think amazing. I think you're supposed to eat the outside, not the inside of the husk. Yeah, the inside is a little extra stringy it's like um it's oh, like a lemon kiwi i'd probably go yeah with a little bit of kiwi but it's probably more of a um artichoke eat the outside but leave the inside holy cow that is good man there you go barrel cactus <laughs> that's awesome i'm gonna take a few of these well we're here at another part of our old stomping ground saw a few cottontails but couldn't get them. Yeah, we shot a little low and scared them off. And the, the part about this particular ranch is that we don't have permission to cross the fence into the next property. Now, an air gun, you have to check your local laws to make sure that it is legal. Here it is. So as long as we have permission, we're good to go. And uh, those little rabbits know where we have permission and where we don't. <laughs> so. so it makes it a little bit difficult. So we were chasing them all over there on the edge of that fence line, but usually they like to hang over here by the hay and get some water while they're at it, but. While they're rabbit. Yeah, while they're rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe another day we'll get them. <laughs> 